Kind of feel weird that you're still a freshman considering this is already uh, your second camp? Yeah, a little, a little weird, you know, everything's moving a little too fast for me, but you know, I don't got no time to, you know, just sit down and take it on. I gotta, I gotta keep on moving with the, with the process of the, of the team. You know, when you come in in spring ball, obviously, kind of eyes wide, you're not really sure what your role is going to be. Now you come into fall camp and you establish yourself in spring ball, you're running with the twos. I mean, how much does that change the way you approach your mentality, or is it just kind of all the same? A uh, big thing in our receiver room was, you know, one of our core values is confidence. So, I mean, over summer, uh, working out the team, just building up my confidence, getting ready for fall camp, uh, knowing that I was going to run with the twos, I just had to be ready for it, for the outcome. Pineapple on pizza, yes or no? Yes, pineapple on pizza, yes. You mentioned trying to build some confidence. For you, how do you, you know, try to go about doing that? Uh, definitely preparation. Uh, you know, just staying after practice, getting some extra work in, working on things that I messed up in practice, and just working on things that I need to, you know, get myself better. So definitely that. You feel like that's kind of paid off on the field? Most definitely. Yeah, there's things that are in practice that I've seen that have uh, gotten better over time. And, you know, I'm just going to continue doing the same thing, make it sharpen, you know, sharpen my stuff. What's it been like working with the DT at receiver? He's fast. He's fast. No, yeah. Um, He's definitely, he's definitely a character, you know, working with him, with the experience he has coming from Juco and, you know, playing with the ones. He's giving me a lot of advice and, uh, you know, just being with him, just, you know, it's fun. He's faster. You or DT? I'll give DT that. I'll give DT that. Do you feel pressure trying to prove yourself as an incoming freshman? And if so, how do you deal with that? Uh, not at all. I think uh, the biggest thing is for myself. I think I pressure myself just to get myself better. But uh, all the coaches, you know, are very welcoming. So they always let my let myself ease up and ease up into the process. Yeah. What are you know? Kind of what are your impressions of the coaching staff? First with Dickard, and then you know your position coaches. Uh, they're great. They're great. Uh, Coach Dickard is very understanding. Uh, he has a motto: keeps his door open for everybody. So you know, uh, having those talks with him is great. But the other coaching staff, my position coach, the defense position coaches, they're all they're all friendly on the field. You know, they all want to see you get better. What do you like about Ben's offense? You know, in your position as a wide receiver, <laughs> we go deep. We go deep every time, and and uh, you know, we also run the ball. But I, I feel like you know, in playing this offense, you can get the ball a lot as at the receiver position. One thing I saw a lot was uh, Cam high five and everybody that was coming in off or on or whatever. Uh, what has really developed between your your guys' connection? Um, you know, I've been I've been running with the ones a little bit. I barely you know going today because of Kyle being sick. But uh, I mean, you know, we're getting there. You know, he trusts me a little bit. You know, off off field we talk a little little jokes here and there. But uh, you know, I'm still straining to build that connection even more. I, is it is it nice to just have someone who's who's always up upbeat, energized, and uh, giving some high fives around? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, most definitely. Even being the leader of the offense, and you got it, you got to do that every day. So it, it helps me, you know, want to be better. You know, every time I hit the field. Yeah, you know, Carlos, coming into this offseason, you know, wide receiver room was a very interesting dynamic. You know, you coming in as an incoming freshman and then, you know, Kyle, Josh, and then uh, DT, who had experience at the college level, but, you know, we're in the program for the first time. So uh, just kind of take us into, you know, what that dynamic has been like in the offseason and, you know, how you guys have gotten used to each other and built that camaraderie to, you know, what we see now in, uh, in camp where it seems like, you know, there's been a lot of contribution from uh, everyone almost. Oh, yeah, yeah. Definitely coming into spring, there was a bunch of new faces in the receiver room. But uh, over time, we've all put in the work together. Uh, after practice, we stayed. You know, on the off days, we'd show up on the field, throw with the QBs. And then even in the position room, we just, you know, we'd be coaching each other up during film. So I think it's just building that connection has kept, came a long way. And, you know, we're going to keep on doing that going into season. Um, who's maybe somebody who is kind of a leader or the leader of the wide receiver room? Uh, definitely Lincoln Victor. Uh, I'd say Lincoln Victor, Josh Kelly's up there. But, you know, Lincoln Victor being, you know, the amount of years he's been here and just, you know, leading us every day with the energy he has, he's definitely, definitely the one up there, you know, always keeps us, keeps us on our heads and always just giving us advice and motivation to get do better every day of practice.